Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Check this crazy thing out. It's a gearless right angle adapter. Um, I've got this hooked up on this Milwaukee, the three eighths inch drive, but what these are, look at these guys. They're, they're just, they almost defy physics. Isn't that cool? So it's a three eighths inch here, three eighths inch here. So this is an adapter, but it turns a right angle and you can see uh, it's a Calvan, that's the CV, Calvan made in Taiwan. This is the 483. And these aren't very expensive. They're only like 13, 14 bucks. Um, it's a uh, really bizarre looking tool. Here's one that's a 45 degree angle. I've got this, I bought a um, quarter inch one as well to play with just to see. They're quite strong. They're not impact rated, but apparently they're rated um, whatever the ANSI standard is. That's what they say. And, and I basically lose control of them before I can't, before I tighten them too tight. Um, I haven't run into any problem, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to get a couple of them here and hook them together to see what the options are. Um, I can imagine it getting into some unusual spots. Actually, I'll put it on a ratchet here. Um, so if you think about it, you know, being able to go around something, under, over. Um, it's a kind of a unique solution. Now, I tried to build something that also gave me that 90 degree, and I had to use two of these snap-on impact um, U-joints plus this proto one, just this, this is all half inch here, um, in order to get that kind of a, a um, corner turn. Um, but this one's still pretty rough. Um, a lot of things like this use gears probably right inside that housing. So that's why they can claim, you know, something like this is a gearless um, 90 degree angle adapter. Um, use, sometimes we can get that out of uh, these kind of spring loaded ones, but they're usually not that strong. In fact, I was working on a garage door opener and this is the thing I had to use um, in order to get to a bolt that was recessed behind um, a plate and a spring. And then there were struts in the way holding the garage door. So I had to come in from way behind. So that's the thing I ended up building to unload or unscrew the uh, bolt to unload the tension on the, um, on the lifting mechanism. But anyway, here they are for what they're worth. Uh, yeah, you can actually use them to uh, put something like this, um, you know, they do work. Generally, they're a little different, I guess, if I double them up. Can I still do this? Um, kind of have to hold them steady, but yeah, you can see that's turning away from way over here. So you can, Grind those in. Um, Calvan makes some interesting stuff. I've got um, another adapter that I'll dig out and, and do a video on. But I just thought that's, it just seems too weird the way this thing works. Um, and obviously it's got an interesting property, mechanical corner turning there using these metal rods to keep it aligned, but they can also change length within their um, their individual cylinder holes. Anyway, I thought you might find that interesting. Maybe you've seen these. Maybe you've seen them and didn't know what they did. Um, but there you go. And it's kind of cool. It's almost mesmerizing when you put them on a drill. What would two of them look like? Good question. On a drill like this. Let 
get that straight. How to hold it, there we go. Fascinating. Play with it all day. Anyway, there you go. That's the Calvan um, right ang gearless right angle adapter, part number 483. And the quarter inch one here is the Calvan. I don't know if it's written on this guy. I'll put it in the description below. But anyway, that's also a Calvan right angle adapter, or I mean a 45 degree angle adapter using that same process of these elongating metal rods. And with that, Doc out.